the channel, it's a brigade no more as we unbox the Steel Core Troopers G.I. Joe Classified Series. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified series unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the fan channel exclusive we got the Steel Core Troopers but for all your Steel Core Trooper needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 guess what it does ship free. Got to get the deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all of the reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And we get another Troop Builder pack. We've had Troop Builder Ninjas. We've had Cobra Officer Troop Builders. But now we get some G.I. Joe Troop Builders. And I don't know if you guys are like me. It depends on your fandom, where you came into with G.I. Joe. When I close my eyes, like I do many a night, uh, when I think of G.I. Joe Troop Builders, I think of the green shirts. And I'm kind of surprised we haven't got one of those somewhere along the line. I guess, you know, we've got them in reaction. We've got them a few times, but haven't got them in classified yet. I have to assume Super 7 will give us them eventually. That seems like money, easy money for Super 7. But I have to imagine we will get them a, hopefully eventually in the classified series. But we get the Steel Core, which is a little bit more of a fancy army builder i guess is what we'll say on this one and nameless soldiers really at the end of the day and one of these sets here i gotta get two of these sets because they have two different heads for each character and you do get a male and a female here as well which is very interesting to see so there's a lot to like about this especially those that like army builders now this is the steel core as we do remember way back in the day when i was a kid it was the steel brigade and actually valiverse i think owns the trademark to that we've unboxed valiverse action force heck we've unboxed this on the channel and this is their version of the steel brigade i think the licensing went dormant on there the trademark and they scooped up and picked it up so now they are the steel core where it used to be the Steel Brigade. And the Steel Brigade didn't do a whole lot for me when I was a little kid, for whatever reason. I don't remember saying, I gotta collect these points, I gotta get my flag points and all this, because I want that. I mean, I would have took it, but it wasn't something I was super excited for, for whatever reason. Give me a leather neck, a quick kick, something like that over an army builder when I was a little kid, because we talked about it in the past, army builders aren't for little kids. You're not gonna buy 10 different Vipers. You're gonna want different characters. Uh, at least that's how I was. But let's take a look at the packaging. Let's start in. Let's go through it all as we usually do. Big accessory uh, strip right there. All kinds of stuff coming in here. G.I. Joe logo across the front. A little glamour shot to the side. And how about that artwork? Gives feels to that old G.I. Joe movie. You get the jet packs going on here, which are so iconic to G.I. Joe. Uh, right around that um, Statue of Liberty looking really good. Now, the first thing I did notice on this, and I've heard this uh, in the past, and shout out to good brother Jeff George out there, good friend of the channel, old JG, the hurricane himself. He said, hey, a lot of this stuff is blurry in the graphics, and maybe I just don't have an eye for detail of graphics, but this one, when I pulled it out of the package, I said, man, this is blurry. And I was like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like they're in motion or what, but there is a blurriness to this picture here, which is very, very strange to me. It's like, you would want this as crisp as you could possibly get it for retail, but it is fairly blurry right here. So interesting to note, interesting to note uh, on that one. On the side, a little glamour shot action. This is set number 95, dangerously close to 100, dangerously close, getting closer every day, some may say. On the back, there it is, more official glamour shots of everything you get. This possibly is the biggest accessory pack in history of G.I. Joe Classified line so far. We got a lot of stuff to go through, a lot of stuff to look at in this one. No blurb, anything like that on the back. Uh, just uh, shows what's going on. Steel Core Troopers. It is what it is. Number 95, like I did say. But let's pull them out. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And there's always fuss with the classified line. We're always fussing about the classified line. Uh, if you're not, what are you doing here? There it goes. See you later. Bam. There it goes. And then we do get number 95, Steel Core Troopers. You get the big old locker for them here. Let's see what's going on in these lockers. Pull that out. See you later. Spin on it. Bam. There it goes. Parchment paper all day long. Can I juggle the parchment paper? Uh, kinda. Kinda. Juggling with Kyle, one of my many tricks, many tricks of the trade. 
Bam! See you later through the uprights. And there we go. All kinds of stuff going on. We got a lot of work to do with these accessories. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. Let's dive in. I guess we'll dive in with these jet packs. We get two jet packs here. Remember just thinking when I was a kid, man, I want these jet packs. I think they had one and they had something that was similar to it, but they didn't just come out straight easy to get when you were a kid of these jet packs. And man, I wanted one so bad for all my Joes to reenact that movie opening, of course. But very, very cool here. They got the same insignia. They're the same thing times two. That makes a lot of sense. All in kind of a greenish a darkish green color going on here. Forest green? Dare I say a forest green? Uh, but it's got the American flag, all that looking good. But definitely an iconic, iconic thing for Joe's. I love this jetpack. And the beauty of this is you can use them with these guys. Or you can slap this on Duke. You can slap this on uh, Flint if you want to. Lady J. Whoever you want to could have this going on. So that, I think, is going to be something really cool for a lot of people. Now, we do get four of the flame effects here, the smoke effects. And they do pop right into the bottom of this. So you put these guys on a flight stand in the background. They're flying off. They're off to the races. They're going up to that Cobra mothership. They're after that one. There's anything you can really do, whatever you want. Whatever your mind says you want to do with these effect pieces. We got the orange there, the cloud of smoke. Looking beautiful. I am here for that. I'm here for these jetpacks for sure. Uh, and then you can just have the jetpacks without anything on them if you really wanted to as well. Then we get effect pieces all over the place here. So we get a little smoking gun end here. We've seen that before. These are in a nice bright red as well. I should point that out. You get the cloud of smoke. The red on the end on this little one. You get the one for the big old spray of bullets going on. I'm here for that. You get the big blast effects. You get three different ones of these. And then you get the straight up old flame effect coming out there. Uh, just a big laser effect. And then you get the uh, spin the wheel, make the deal flame effect as well. So a lot of the stuff we've seen before. Get the most out of your molds. Reuse city. Makes a lot of sense right there. Now we get down to these weapons. We get down to all this different stuff going on. And we do get two pistols. So now each one of these characters is going to have each one of these. So you get two pistols, one for each character. That's kind of how it's going to go here. But the black pistol, seen it before. I'm sure we'll see it again. Gets the job done, of course. So we got those going there. We get two knives. Oh, we got a little knife like a young Valiant Thor, as we always say. Two silver blades. Got the black handle looking really nice. No issues with that either. We do get a big old blaster. We got three different blaster weapons right here. So uh, all very uniform. You got the green highlights on it against the black. Uh, all three of these looking really good. They all do accept a magazine. And we got three magazines for the Steel Core here. I'm here for a good magazine. It looks like we got some interesting magazines here. As once again, we got Cosmopolitan Magazine, a favorite around the Joe camp, of course. And then why wouldn't you? You got Glamour Magazine. And you got Ladies Home Journal. Oh, yes, Ladies Home Journal. So uh, I don't know what's going on over here. They must be uh, all of, uh, I don't know. I don't know whose magazines they are. Are they the guys or the girls? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But it is three black ones. And they do just fit right in here very easily like we're accustomed to. Uh, we've seen those before with the Joes as well. But love all three of these weapons. Always tough deciding which weapon do you have, which one do you display them with. Can't go wrong with any of these three. And the nice thing is you could use these for other Joes and Cobras if you really wanted to. So you all can mix and match all that kind of fun stuff. And you do get a suppressor. Or is it a silencer? Suppressor? Silencer? Why can't it be both? Choose your own adventure. It should plug into any one of these and... You just choose your own adventure at the end of the day. But very, very cool in the weapons department. This is a heavy-duty team. They are ready to throw down at a moment's notice if they need to. And now we got them in the old cardboard prison. And instead of the rope twist ties, we're back to the plastic twist ties. We're kind of in that weird in-between uh, area where we're getting a little bit of both going on right now. Uh, I prefer the ropes because they seem to be a little easier. But we'll take what we can get at the end of the day. And we're just going to unplug all these ones right off the bat. And let's get them all out. There it is, there it is, and oh, twist tie, massive twist ties here. We got stuff everywhere. We're making a mess. The poor vacuum going to get a workout. We're going to give it the old side, off to the side, see you later, so we don't get more twist ties everywhere. But we got that going on, and now we're going to get down to business. Some may say monkey business. Not me, though. Not me. This is important business. Uh, it's almost as good as official clown business. A shout out to the good old captain there. But now we got the Steel Corps. I'm not going to call it Brigade. Steel Corps female trooper because, hey, guess what? Ladies first. Ladies first, guys. Got the tan pants on her. Got the blue shirt underneath. And you got the green armor throughout. The green tactical vest looking good. You got some carabiners on the black belt. You got the black holster on the side. Got a little pocket action there. Got the holster on the other side. You can put that pistol in there if you need to. Black boots matching good. And then she's got some knee 
knee pads just in case just in case always protect your knees folks uh her hands here got two trigger hands on this one yep two trigger hands on her looking good and then you do get the steel the steel i almost said brigade steel core head here uh very um uniform very robotic like uh almost wild weasel like a uh, shout out to wild weasel i uh, got the kind of uh nice visor there in black with some blue highlights that bring it in back in there uh, looking good all silver got even some kind of rivets on there so an interesting looking head also got the joe pro up high we've seen that before with grunt and some of the others as well we do get a second head for both of these and this is a similar but different head is what we'll call this you got kind of the copper visor against the green uh, i think this one might match a little bit better with the greens that are a part of this but this one goes back to it being an army builder once again mix and match move these heads around get multiples of these put different heads on them or you could also pop this head off and grab lady j's head for instance and put lady j in here and bam there's lady j in this costume pop this head off pop flint's head on there you got lady j and flint in some uh special armor or something like that for a special mission you could easily do that if you wanted to so a lot of opportunities to do stuff like that you do got storage in the front there for her knife as well i should mention that here now does she fit on a ringside collectible stand let's check that out real quick what do you know fits perfectly on a ringside collectible stand now the articulation can be the exact same between these two so i'm going to walk through it or actually they are a little bit different we got the single jointed elbows on her i thought they were double jointed they are not so we got single uh, jointed elbows side to side at the elbow hands back and forth up and down got the trigger hand there looking good bicep cut is not here you do get the arms that go around though a little bit of butterfly action head down head up side to side a little bit limited on that head you do get the waist articulation no real ab crunch to speak of with that big vest going on she does got those big old splits if you need them then you got the drop down hips got the thigh cut double jointed pinless knees here for that boot cut then you get the ankle articulation we are so accustomed to but it is a female trooper a female army builder for the joe team we are here for that now we get down to the male counterpart in very similar feel and look to this one here just a little bit bigger sized but First thing I do notice is kind of that beach head and I assume shockwave in the future. Uh, kind of undershirt going on there in the blue. Looking really good. Got the black gloves, the black boots. Got a holster on side for the pistol. Got a holster on the side with just uh, storage, nothing to put in there. Same similar belt combination there with some carabiners in the back. You do get a couple of shoulder guards here. You got to straighten those out, but you do get a little logo action. You got the same one over there. You got some bullets up here that are sculpted in. You got the Joe Pro there. Of course, spot to store the knife in the front as well. It's got the knee pads going on, the tan pants, and then you got the green tactical vest, just like the, her par his partner in crime. Same kind of head here, but of course, it is the male head on this one. You can mix it back and forth same thing with this very similar to the female one just the male equivalent male counterpart makes all the sense we're used to all that head articulation of course you got that neck articulation on top of the head do we have neck on this one it doesn't seem to be the case of neck on that one you do get a little bit of ab crunch in there a little bit blocked by the vest but it is there butterfly shoulders arms go all the way around bicep cut double jointed knee knees how about double jointed elbows but they do have pins in them that's what threw me off so we got the pin joints taking a step back right there and then you get the hands back and forth waist articulation big old steel core splits if you need them drop down hips thigh cut double jointed knees got the pins in the knees boot cut ankles back and forth side to side a little looser on the ankles than i would like them to be uh, in all honesty now does the steel core fit on a ringside collectible stand use discount code kyle at ringside make sure you do get the mattel stand what do you know fits perfectly on the old stand right there looking really really good so a good two pack here a good army builder pack it is a fan channel exclusive which is a little disappointing because i would love to see this go to retail and maybe a possible clearance possible deal as you could really army build this out with it being a fan channel there might be some clearances but probably not a ton compared to your regular copperhead shipwreck scrap irons we saw out there at retail i did mention the valiverse one earlier you can kind of put him right in there he fits like he belongs in that team of course being the steel brigade steel core close enough to be dangerous that's what we're going to call it on this one right there but a good two pack is it great depends who you are if you want to build out the ranks of your joe team it is a must-have but if you're there just for the iconic characters 
these faceless, nameless uh, Steel Core members, they may not be for you. So it really depends how you're collecting and what you're doing in your collection. But they do got a lot of accessories, a lot of stuff you can use around the bin, like a young CCR at the end of the day. So there it is, the old Steel Core. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, on the other YouTube channels. So there's two YouTube channels to subscribe to, as you guys hopefully know by now. You can also check out the old Patreon for early access to both channels' videos. Don't forget to give this channel the old thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe on social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the Steel Core and the Brigade 2, I'm Kyle. See you all real soon.